Hey, it's Joshua Vagar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And I'm here with Jordan, who is with Otterbox. He is a media relations specialist here, and he's going to be demoing a couple products for us. I wanted to take a look at a product for the S4 as well as a product for the HTC One, but the cases, for the most part, are pretty much the same, only made to fit different devices. So we're going to look at the S4 devices, right? I mean, products right now. So Jordan, what do you got for us? Yeah, so a couple of different things. Number one being the Defender series. Uh, this is our best-selling case line, and something that we've got for a wide variety of Android devices. Mm -hmm. Um, and just a few of the basics to it. Built-in screen protector, full polycarbonate shell all the way around the device, and then a silicone skin over the top of that. This is a version with Realtree camouflage as well. Uh, this is available for the Galaxy S3, and I'm not sure if that'll happen for the S4 or not, just kind of depends. Um, but you can get it in a variety of different colors, mm -hmm. and really the greatest thing to it is the fact that it's pretty quick and simple to put on, really great drop in shock protection, keeps out dust, you've still got access to all of the, diff the different uh, ports, like the headphone jack, and uh, charging, everything like that. So you get the same user experience with the device, but in a really, really nice rugged protection to go along with it. And then on top of that, we've also got the commuter series. It's a very pocket-friendly case, lightweight, if you don't need as much protection as the Defender series provides. Comes with a self-adhering screen protector, put on yourself a silicone skin and then a polycarbonate over the top. So that slides in and out of your pocket nicely, doesn't add a lot of bulk or weight to the phone, but still provides really good drop and shock protection. Uh, and of course, uh, we, we're not going to be looking at it right now, but there are other cases for even more protection, especially ones for, say, waterproofing and stuff like that, right? Yes, okay. exactly. So we've got what's called the Armor Series. It's our top of the line. We call it the toughest case ever built, uh, really over the top sort of protection for people who are out there in the field, go out and do really rugged outdoor activities, or maybe people who are just really clumsy. Yeah, I think over the top was definitely the word that I was thinking of <laughs> when I was looking at it earlier. So this is a kind of a, one thing I wanted to ask was, or one, one of the few things I wanted to ask was, um, so what, as far as the philosophies behind an otter box for a phone, what do you usually try to sort of uh, be specific on when it comes to protection of these phones, which costs a lot of money and yeah. for the most part can be pretty fragile too? Yeah, so it all really comes down to form, fit, and function for us to go along with a smartphone. I mentioned it earlier, but we always want to make sure that you have the exact same user experience with the case on mm -hmm. as you do without any case. The, you know, these devices are made to be really high end. They're really great, really fast, mm -hmm. really sensitive, and we want all of that to remain true. We just want to make sure that when you take it out with you, you can go do the things that you would normally do in daily life and not have to worry about it breaking. Ah, uh, gotcha. And um, I, I, what, what we have been seeing here at CTIA, at least, are a lot of, at least mid-range phones that have the really ruggedized bodies already built in. Um, what sort of, uh, what, what would be sort of your response to somebody who's thinking, oh, maybe I should get a rugged phone rather than another phone with an OtterBox on top? Well, and so I think it really comes down to what you're looking for in a device. If you're looking for something that doesn't necessarily provide all the features of, say, a Galaxy S4, maybe that mid-range phone is for you, and maybe you are able to just kind of sidestep the case all together and go with it. Uh, I think where OtterBox really plays in is that we've always tried to stay on the cutting edge of technology, and that includes being in on those cutting edge phones like the Galaxy S4, the HTC One, and some of those other really, really hot devices that are out there right now. So it's really a matter of personal preference, but it's something where at the end of the day, we feel that you're not adding a whole lot to the phone, but you're getting a whole lot more out of it. All right, well, really good way to put that. Um, all right, so I've been asking everybody I've been interviewing this question, and I'm just going to segue right into it. Uh, a little bit off, off beat, it's not necessarily about OtterBox, but I'm just going to ask you straight up. Sure. What phone are you rocking? I'm rocking an iPhone 4S right now. I am just way behind the times, <laughs> always have been. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where every time I get really close to upgrading and getting a new device, mm -hmm something else comes out and kind of makes me waffle a little bit on it. So it's just a matter of being really, really market. indecisive. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So if that's the case, so we know why you're on that, because kind of just missing the mark every now and then. But uh, is there a phone out there that you really want? The one that I have not played with a whole lot that I hear really great things about and I'm really intrigued with is the HTC One. <laughs> so I've been hearing that from everybody so far. Yeah, I've seen it one time here at the show. I haven't played with it outside of that just couple of minutes of dancing around with it. Mm -hmm. But it's a really, really great device. Feels really good in the hand. And it's one of those where it's like, I can see myself maybe upgrading to it, but it's again, it's making a decision and sometimes yeah, exactly. I'm not the best at that. Well, um, just a heads up to you from me, uh, HTC actually has the Stealth Black Edition out um, and they have it on display here, so if you want to check it out, it's a really good find. That's a really good tip then, yeah. All right, All right great, well, uh, that was just a quick talk with Jordan here at OtterBox and uh, thank you so much, man. Absolutely, thank All you. All right, it's Joshua Vergara from Android Authority coming to you live from CTIA 2013.